Now to the educational impact of coronavirus. COVID troubles are in the Reynolds School District. Now hundreds of middle school students are home in quarantine. And this after the high school was shut down this week for COVID exposure there. Now Lisa Balick is live in Fairview looking into this. Lisa. Yeah, there are about 200 middle school students here who were told yesterday to stay home today and tomorrow because of a possible exposure to COVID. Now keep in mind that is 200 out of 1,000 middle school students that go here. Now a school spokesman tells me that there was someone who tested positive for COVID and the students were possibly exposed in the school cafeteria. That exposure was last week, but the district wasn't notified, they tell me, until Tuesday night, telling students yesterday to stay home. The district won't say whether it was a staff member or a student who tested positive, and school leaders just can't pinpoint an exact group of students who may have had that close contact. It could have been uh, over a couple of lunch periods uh, because of the staggered lunches that we do have um, and we have to be uh, uh, cautious about that on top of the fact that we don't have the vaccination status of, uh, of a lot of our students. Now the students will be allowed back into the building on Monday, I'm told. That's the same day the high school students will return. Classes there, as you remember, suspended last week and online this week after a few cases of COVID. Again, the school unable to narrow down who may have been exposed, so all those high school students were told to quarantine. The district is making some changes now, asking parents and students to voluntarily show proof of vaccination so in the future they wouldn't have to quarantine. They also have shot clinics scheduled. There's one underway at Reynolds high school today until 7 o'clock tonight. Also, there'll be one tomorrow at the middle school starting at about 3.30. I'll have much more in this today coming up at 5. Live in Fairview, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.